Hey everybody, we're outside. Today I want to talk to you guys about street photography. And on street photography in the way that I see it talked about online a lot. Um, this isn't focused on gear. I don't care if you guys are shooting film. I don't care if you guys are shooting on, you know, uh, digital. I don't care if you guys are shooting 28 millimeter, 35 millimeter, 50 millimeter, 85 millimeter. It doesn't matter. I want to give you guys some tips and things that I've picked up as well as some of my friends who are gracious enough to give some information um, on this video as well. And you'll hear from them a little bit later on exactly what are their best tips for street photography. A lot of times we're centered around the gear focused things or centered around a focal length or centered around um, an idea you got to shoot like this or this centered around you know a certain type of look or centered around a certain a certain type of film stock etc but street photography man can be anything from the beginning of time photographers have been documenting and from the beginning of time photographers have been documenting in the street it didn't just start with Henri Cartier Bresson uh, street photography is something that anyone can do at any level whether it's with a cell phone again with film with digital with a beginning camera or with an eight thousand dollar rig like a Sony a1 with a G master lens it doesn't matter how you're doing it where you're doing it uh, especially if you're living in a small city you can create amazing things wherever you are because street photography is telling a story that only you can tell in that moment and it's absolutely beautiful so let's talk about some things so I'm currently in a part of town that I've been to a lot I've walked this place quite a bit and one of the reasons is because I feel comfortable here I know the place I know the surroundings I know where I need to be if something's going down because one of the things that a lot of people don't talk about in street photography is you gotta know where you're at and be aware of what's going on because no matter all these things, you may be creative, you may be a world-class photographer, you may be sponsored, you may be all these things, but you ain't bulletproof. It's a house that I always like to be around, I like to photograph, it just looks really, really cool to me. I've taken this before, but I'll take it again. I really like anytime there's flowers anywhere, so you're about to see a whole bunch of photos of me taking photos of homes and stuff just because the flowers are pretty. Real quick though, shouts out to D, appreciate you, my boy. Um, thanks for having me be a part of this. What is the most important rule of street photography? Well, for me personally, um, just my approach and the way I go about things, uh, the most important thing is if you feel it, shoot it. Um, trust your gut, um, trust the angles and stuff that you're already seeing, and shoot it. I feel like you never know where that photo may take you. you never know man like i feel like i have stories of just not thinking a shot would be much then it turns out to be something really really beneficial either financially or creatively um yeah so if you feel it shoot it later y'all hi everybody lee here uh, i'm from houston texas where it is currently not 110 degrees if i had any tips for any street photographers or photographers in general um i think i speak for everybody here it's summertime you gotta stay hydrated you gotta know where your restrooms are um and you gotta be able to read the room and sense danger uh, almost like a sixth sense but uh other than that please be sensitive to your surroundings your subjects and to yourselves uh be self-aware and just have fun thank you so much Bye bye Another thing I always like to keep in mind whenever I'm taking street photos is be respectful of people, places, and things. Uh, know, you know, your surroundings, but also know when to approach people, when to approach areas, when to approach things. Don't assume that the photo is yours just because it's there for the making. Um, even more, don't feel like you're entitled just because you have a camera. Just because you can document things doesn't mean you should document things. And even more, you don't own the rights to photography. So if someone says don't take that or delete that, just do it. It's not even worth it. I know there's gonna be a lot of people that hate the fact that I said that last part saying, but we have every right to take that photo. It's not against the law, you're not breaking laws. Yeah, but at the same time, just think about being a decent human being. You guys gotta understand like, this is a privilege and like a responsibility to take photos and to take them responsibly. Not everything is ours to document. Not every moment has to be documented. And you gotta be thinking if you're predatorial, lurching and trying to document things that, you know, you're doing and you do, the excitement is from documenting something that you knew you shouldn't have, 
and you probably shouldn't have. Not to say that everyone that takes photos and doesn't delete them and stuff is predatorial, like, you know, uh, <laughs> not, at, not at all am I saying that. I'm just saying you have to just use some discernment about it, be honest about it, and honestly, sometimes it's charged to the game. But don't be that person that puts a bad light on photography, or even worse, is just an asshole to innocent people just because you want a banger. Yo, isn't this Cleveland right gorgeous? It's my backyard. But if I had to give one street photography tip D, it would be follow your own ideas. If you have a journalistic approach in your work, do that. If your goal is beauty in your work, do that. Whatever it is that you want to pursue, do that. There is too much creativity and skill to go around for it to be okay for street photography to become the exact same thing. Follow your own voice. Hey everyone, Scott Song here. Currently in London, about to leave in a few hours or so. And today I want to answer a good question for D. Rose of Photo. What is the most important rule of street photography? I would answer that by saying to always have fun with it, really. It might be a very obvious answer, but I can't tell you how many times from my own personal experience where I just get carried away and pretty much the work I want to create and I just take it too seriously and sometimes I forget about why I'm doing it and the, why, and the reason why I'm doing it is to have fun. Well, when you're out there with your camera, just remember that you don't have to be scared. You don't have to pretty much pay attention to the clout on social media. What matters is your work, that you're having fun out there and you're pretty much giving back to the community of other street photographers with this great work. Okay, so we're at this uh, neighborhood basketball court. Super duper cool. Uh, but I think right now it's a good time to sit and just talk. So yeah, this is the real glitz and glamour of street photography. A lot of times it's gonna be a lot of walking around and not getting absolute shit, but it's just fun to do. It's something that's nice and honestly something that anyone can do. I can walk around here for about two more hours and maybe get one to two actual shots that to me are passable or that make me happy. But the time spent is fantastic. I got to work on my skill, got to work on composition, got to see you know, different ways I can layer and play with this 28 millimeter lens. And that's the best thing about street photography is it is practice. It's the same way as having your own ball come into a basketball court that's free and open to play at and just getting to shoot around for a while. It's something that can harness your skill, but at the same time, you are still getting the joy. And for some people, there's more joy in street photography than anything else. But when it comes to street photography, one of the biggest hindrances I see to people actually getting into it is the tips really stop at the consumer side. People really love to talk about gear you should buy, you should have this, this is the right camera, you gotta have a Leica, you gotta have a Fujifilm, you gotta have a small camera, you gotta have a big camera, DSLRs, the new Leicas, or some other bullshit like that. Like there's a lot of things that people say and it comes off as though, hey, you know what? the only thing that really matters is your gear and once you get that set in line there's no troubles but then I I've talked to people at a recent street photography event um, that benefited uh, some local youth in San Antonio called Light Catcher Society um, they go out and they shoot street but a lot of people that came and showed up to our event which was with the Color Coffee Collective, Car Who Running, Fleet Feet SA and Digital Pro Lab a lot of the people that came that wanted to get in street photography wanted to walk were people that have never done it before because they're intimidated they're intimidated by you know what happens if I run into someone where should I go what happens if I don't know where I'm at where should I start uh, wh what should I try to f take photos of do I have to take photos of people can I take photos of things what happens if someone doesn't want me to take photo of their property and all these different things and listen here's the long and short answer to what you should do with street photography whatever you want as long as you're being respectful to people places and things you know if someone doesn't want you to take a photo of them or their stuff don't argue with them um, don't yell at someone, uh, don't be condescending. You don't own the rights to anyone's face. Yes, you're protected legally by in the United States. Of it. Yes, freedom of press, but at the same time, honestly, just be nice to people, dude. You don't own the right to take any photo. It's always a privilege. And just because you don't have to ask doesn't mean that you have to keep it. Um, so in answering this question, uh, I think I initially wanted to cite something artsy, you know, something about you know, the touch on colors or composition or the decisive moment, you know, all those cliche things. Um, but in reality, how I actually feel has little to do with actual street photography. And even still, I kind of struggle with how I would capture how I feel and distill that down to, to one particular phrase. And I guess the best I could come up with was like, do you responsibly? Uh, now, what do I mean by that? Uh, I think 
I kind of carry this philosophy with me in lots of different aspects of my life. Uh, but in general, what I kind of mean is to number one, do you meaning do your own thing, right? Don't copy everyone that's out there. Don't do what's the flavor of the month. Don't do what's hot. Don't do what's going to get you attention. Do something that actually means something to you personally, uh, a self-expression or telling your story or telling the story of your environment or even just telling the story of how you see things from your particular point of view in this life, because we all in general, we all have a unique one. Uh, it's just that so many of us are too busy trying to tell things from somebody else's point of view because that's what gets clicks and likes, especially in this age of social media. I don't think there's like one set answer. I don't think there's like a rule, but literally bro, like if you have no expectations, get detached from your photos. And the biggest, most important thing for me, uh, and I think for everyone, is stop trying to get caught up in having a style or claiming you don't have a style or like all the little nonsense that goes on through everyone's head bro i have it it's not like i'm i'm immune to to anything but like i i, I try not to get caught up in that aspect of uh photography and just putting myself down oh i'm not good as bro like that that's not true we all see differently we might not like what we see sometimes from other people but that's not hate that's just it doesn't it doesn't spark anything in us and vice versa it's going to happen to you you can't expect everyone to like you or understand one of the biggest things never comes street photography that i just always want to bring you up is the fact that this is meant to be fun don't take yourself too serious um don't put a lot of pressure on yourself a lot of you guys you know a lot of people now they want to move to new york move to la and they want to you know become a professional street photographer and make a book and make money off this and that's great i believe in you i really do think you can do that but at the same time there's a lot of weight and pressure that comes with that and at the end of your life, do you want to take something that you love so much and was so precious to you and it became hell and a burden and something that you felt you had to do in order to make some dream come true because you saw someone on YouTube do it? Or would you rather have fun times, memories, etc., doing something you love and letting it be something that helped you mentally? For me personally, uh, my mental health is something that in the past I've struggled with and even recently with the passing of my mother and the anniversary of her date of passing have, you know, I've had some times where I've had some hiccups and had that dark cloud over me and gone into little bouts with depression. But the biggest thing for me that's been helpful has been the fact that I have something to lean on. And that's street photography. I can always get up, go out and do something. I can always get up, go out and create. And I can always get up, go out and feel like I'm a part of something in the world, uh, just documenting it. And that's something that relieves me and really just helps me get out of a funk. And I know for a lot of people, it's the exact same thing because being in nature where we're supposed to be and being around these beautiful things and getting to do something you love, it's a win-win. absolutely love taking photos of cats especially in this area which is why i like to frequent it because i have a lot of cats i can take a photo of a lot of their cats that's all like ali got a photo of this a few weeks ago it's cappuccino or something like that it's cute most important rule and tip for street photography um shoot what stands out to you don't fall into the the rut of like shooting what you think is street photography because then you'll find yourself taking the cliche shots. I think the way to shoot street is you go out in the streets and uh, whatever stands out to you, that'll be your images. That's the best tip I can give. One tip to keep in mind when it comes to street photography or one thing that I kind of think about when I go out and do it, and I guess this is very different from like, you know, classic street photographers um, is just being respectful of like the the people who are in that either it be the neighborhood or the area or if you're going to document like an event or something um for me like i shoot a lot of lowriders um i've been fortunate enough to be welcomed you know into that community and you know taking part and being a part of it is really awesome so the experience is much different than when you're newly into it and like people don't really know who you are you know you might not want to go up and just take a photo of someone's face or get up in their their personal space and take a picture because you might get swung on you might get hit or told not to take the picture but love that driveway
we're back at home base and there's more than likely a chance that that whole video was complete and total crap but um it is what it is the sun's starting to come out which is about on par for whenever i'm about to start working and i'm done with taking street photos but you know it is what it is so i hope any of this helped you i hope you got some good information from some of my buddies that sent me some stuff and again you guys it's it's all about just going out and taking photos um but a lot of the things that i hear again whenever it comes to people talking about street photography and when they're starting is i just don't know where to start i don't know what to do i don't know how to handle certain situations and you know i'm just kind of worried things would go wrong and I believe that if you listen to a couple things that everyone said and that if you just have fun with it, just like a couple people said, like take the photos that you like, like don't worry what everyone else is doing. I really do think you're going to have a fantastic time. Uh, photography in general is beautiful, but street photography, there's just something about being able to capture something that's super duper mundane and definitely not amazing at all. But it feeling amazing, it feeling beautiful because of the way you captured it. It's one of the best feelings and honestly, I hope that everyone gets to feel that way. So. With all that being said, I hope you guys liked the video. Made a couple of videos that I actually wanted to make before I have to jump back on reviews or jump back on sponsored videos. So, hope you guys like it. Take it light, but take it. Have a good one.